Hello, and welcome to another edition of Coffee Talk with immigration attorney Brian D. Lerner. So in this particular episode, I'd like to talk about all of the items, at least some of them, that are going on because of this pandemic and how it is affecting uh, the immigrants, the detainees, and what can be done uh, to help them. So, you know, unfortunately, as you know, uh, Trump does everything he can in his power uh, to uh, make it more difficult for immigrants. So, uh, you know, for example, um, in New Jersey, um, you know, while certain immigration facilities are closed without any notice at all, the immigration court opened up and went forward, not giving notice to anyone. Um, and then, of course, uh, you know, giving the various orders against immigrants who weren't physically present in the court for their hearings. So, you know, it's, it's stuff like this that is, you know, the bottom line is trying to railroad uh, the detainees or immigrants into unfair hearings uh, where, you know, anyone else would not want to go to these hearings and be without social distancing and to chance getting uh, the COVID virus, the coronavirus, uh, yet, you know, even without notice, they're making uh, immigrants and detainees do it. There's been uh, in CBP and ICE uh, lots of cases now of coronavirus. Um, and, you know, what immigration is doing is unfair. Uh, they are not extending deadlines. They are not allowing certain things to be relaxed because of the situation. And so, in fact, there has already been a class certification issued by a judge to make it so that, uh, you know, people who wanted uh, and who needed to have a deadline extended because of this virus uh, should be allowed to because everything else is being extended. I mean, when you think about it, why why would these deadlines not? If you go to pretty much any other court, uh, all the courts are closed. The criminal courts are having their deadlines extended and even not, they're allowing uh, you know ramifications and things for people to do to make it easier for them to get where they need to go. But for some reason, a lot of immigrants aren't given that right. And that, of course, is incredibly unfair. So you may be in this uh, class action, may, may or may not. But if you're in detention or you know someone in detention, if you're at the border and were improperly turned back, because that's another thing that they're doing now is without any due process at all within 30 minutes person comes in they may have the most bona fide asylum case on the planet and they're just turned away so you know trump's people have essentially taken this opportunity to sweep all due process under the carpet and we can't let that happen so if you're in a situation where uh you needed to get something filed and the deadlines passed or you needed to have something extended and it wasn't extended or you're in detention and you either need to get another bond hearing or you need to see if you can get released to avoid getting the coronavirus yourself. Um, there's all kinds of ways of essentially suing immigration in order to make it happen. And if there was ever a time to bring immigration into court for their unfair practices, for their violations of due process, for their attempts to railroad immigrants uh, to get their policy objectives met, now is the time. So if if you're in such a situation, don't give up. Um, there will be remedies. And I suspect once it goes to federal court, uh, many of the judges, as some already have, uh, will rule against immigration and allow uh, the deadlines to pass and to be extended and will allow the relief that you're requesting, at least in part, to some degree. So, you know, if you are in such a situation, just give my office a call. We'll see what we can do. Uh, and if you like the video, click like, subscribe, and more on the coming videos. Thank you. Mm -hmm.